my head told me, more importantly, that if I'm going to begin a slang match from the pulpit with him, then there are certain sharks in the crowd who will enjoy the slanging match. And that a person with good respect and good morals will look at a person who's older than him and give him the benefit of the doubt. So I came down from the pulpit after exactly 13 minutes. And many people were coming up to me saying, please go back up, please. We didn't. I said, no, the point has been made. And he replied, and I think we'll continue the lecture another day. So it's a, it was a very tense situation. And if you ever come across that situation, sometimes your anger overtakes your reason. But I thank God that that day the reason overtook that. <laughs> Sorry? I, I don't really understand. Why must, why must we go down instead of finishing off? Is she finishing off? Well, I, will, I will do that instead. <laughs> <laughs> He's friends with the chap up there. No, yeah. <laughs> the chap up there has disappeared now. Oh, you yeah. scared him off. Where is he? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry. Shall I just answer him? Or? Yeah, I'll be very quickly. Uh, very quick. You know, you. Uh, the question is why do you just finish him off there and then? Oh, we don't want to use words like finish him off. <laughs> um, no, in that situation, uh, you have a, you know, you've got someone who, instead of coming after the lecture for a minute, silently, you know, on the corner, just say, excuse me, speaker. There was a point you mentioned which I just feel you could have <coughs> looked at in a different way. The fact that he attacked me like that means I'm not dealing with somebody who is even worth engaging in dialogue with. The, the good people of a, of a Muslim community, this is what should be the case, is that if there is a speaker out there who they disagree with something he said, after the lecture, go and approach him. Or send him an email, and I'm sure everybody would want to clarify their points. But in this situation, when there is a crowd and there are people younger than us, I might have been in my 20s, he's in his 60s, the, especially those who are in their late teens, if they see someone from the pulpit having an argument with someone from the crowd, this could affect their appearances in the mosque in the future. And so you have to take that into consideration as well. Yes, sir. Wouldn't the merit of the argument be that you kind of went middle way with him saying, I do understand and why you raise objections to what I've said. However, I'm not actually disagreeing with you. I'm saying that there's merit to these cultural values, but the emphasis should be on prayer. Wouldn't you have preferred to have said that? You see how, he not the man to actually you see how Haider began the beginning of his discussion? Imagine a whirlwind of a hundred times stronger than that was looking at me. And I don't think he was going to listen to me. Yeah. So I just thought it's better that I calm down and go home safely tonight. <laughs>